for my career mode in WWE 2K16, we really just wanted to listen to the fans. So for us, that really meant giving them all the tools to tell their own storylines. This year, you'll have the choice to play out Micro the way you want to. They'll start off as one of the top rookies in NXT. You'll work your way up through the Performance Center, through NXT. From there, you'll have all the choice in the world. You'll be able to stay in NXT and be a longtime champion. Or you can go to the main roster and go for Intercontinental titles or WWE World Heavyweight titles. And all that is with the goal of reaching the Hall of Fame. Nicely done. He picks up the win. Now that's having a game plan and executing it to perfection. This year really is all about freedom of choice. And one of the big choices you're going to have is how your superstar looks and feels and reacts in certain situations, both inside and outside the ring. You're going to get these post-show interviews where Renee Young is going to give you sort of these spitfire questions, and you can answer them in a variety of different personality types. You could be very aggressive and sort of talk down to other superstars, or you could be very respectful. Each specific superstar on the roster is watching what you're doing and reacting to it. From there, you're going to forge some pretty awesome alliances and get into some very, very heated rivalries over the course of your 15-year career. Oh my gosh! No! I mean, a vicious assault using the championship, sending a message to the challenger. The authority plays a big role on WWE television, and we wanted to have that in my career for 2K16 as well. On WWE television, you see Triple H, you know, really pulling the strings of certain superstars' career, you know, for better or for worse. You're going to have that decision as well in my career. You can defy the authority or you can work with them. Depending on your decision, you'll have a vastly different career. You can't lay a finger on our CEO without some repercussions. He's learning that tonight. With run-ins in my career, you're going to have a lot of different choices you want to make. You'll be able to run in in a variety of different ways. You can do pre-match, mid-match. You could run in from the entrance ramp or through a barricade. You can attack someone from behind or support a different superstar by distracting the referee or distracting his opponent. And all this will get you different rivalries and different tag team partners. Tag teams are new this year for my career in WWE 2K16. You'll be able to get into specific rivalries with all of the top WWE tag teams. The big goal for my career this year is to reach the WWE Hall of Fame. And there's going to be many ways to do that. You're going to run to like some really big milestones such as trying to become a Grand Slam winner, so winning all the championships within the span of your career. You could also try to go for the goals where you're almost like a glorified mid-card superstar, going through matches for three years, putting on entertaining matches, but losing them as well. So it's going to be up to you how you want to reach the Hall of Fame. Right, I think the entire landscape of the WWE just changed. Congratulations. My career for this year is going to offer more variety than ever. No matter how you play, you're going to have your own unique storyline in WWE 2K16.